Hello, my name is Gerard Tomney, and I'm here today with my new business called The Knowledge. I'm looking for an investment of £150,000 in return for a 30% stake in the business. The Knowledge is a premium rate telephone helpline which uses licensed London taxi drivers to provide directions and live navigation to people who are lost in London. Everyone knows that when you want to know the time, you ask a policeman, and if you want to know where things are in London, you ask a cab driver. And that's because of the amazing, unique, world-famous knowledge that they have of the city. So how does it work? Well, we have created a virtual call centre that uses London cab drivers working from home. The caller pays for this through its telephone bill. Now, the calls are charged at a pound a minute using a BT landline. Current predictions are we're working on a, um, a forecast of about a 30% profit margin after three years and a return on investment overall after five years of 39% per annum. There's also the ability to cross-sell. Uh, we can refer people to hotels and restaurants and get commission on that sort of arrangement. So, to sum up, um, we think we've got a unique product. We think there's a large market for it, we think there's proven demand, and it's highly scalable. And underpinned by this unusual business model, highly profitable. But don't take my word for it. I have a telephone with me if any of you would like to try the service and see for yourself. Gerard Tomney is asking for £150,000 to market and promote his premium rate phone line where people who are lost can call London's famously knowledgeable black cab drivers for directions. He's hoping a practical demonstration will convince the Dragons to invest. Gerard, hi, I'm Peter. Hi Peter. I think we'd better try the service first. OK. So talk me through it, what do I do? How much a minute? Pound a minute. Thank you for holding. Our agents are still helping other lost people at the moment, but we're trying to get to you as soon as possible. We'll see where the income's coming if from. If you can't continue to hold, press 2 if you would like us to text you when an agent becomes available. This is a disastrous start for Gerard. His crucial demo is failing, and telecoms magnate Peter Jones is not impressed. Peter, you might want to hang up and try again. Hang up and try again? Well, it depends. I don't know if you want to wait on the call, but... How many people are calling this service at the moment? Not as many as we'd like. But uh, the reason that's not being answered is because either um, people are already on calls or the taxi driver is getting to the telephone. We are still trying... OK. So, Gerard, it's not, not a good start, really. It's... Um, I find it hard to explain why. Well, it's not a good start, is it? It's not, it's, not a good, it's not a good start, no. No. Gerard will have to work hard now to gain the dragon's confidence. For Peter Jones, it may already be too late. So, why would we not use other services that are out there today? Why is your service so much better? Well, because of the expertise of the people at the end of the phone. Well, that's sorry, if you can I'm, get them. And I'm sorry, that's, I'm sorry you, 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 didn't, you didn't get through. Um, but the expertise, as I was explaining in the pitch, um, is, is world class and it's unique. At the moment, yeah. the service is yeah. seriously unique. I'm sorry? It's unique, the service. It doesn't work. In your, in your, sorry, I'm sorry, but in your experience, it doesn't work. But, um, well, no, I've just proved it yeah. doesn't work. You, it doesn't uh, no, work. You, you I couldn't get, get through to through. a text driver. Because it's a virtual call centre. I don't um, care. I, I don't I, care. I can't, see what, I can't see what's going I, on out there. I don't care. Okay. Because I am now stuck yep. in London in yep. the pouring rain yep. and I've dialed your service. I've just yep. spent a pound fifty and I've got nothing back. I'm never going to call you again because it doesn't work. Right. You need to close this down fast. Give up. Go back to your day job and stick there. Don't even contemplate doing this business. It is a dead end business. It's going nowhere fast. I can't invest. I'm out. 
Gerard has been roasted by Peter Jones, who's pulled out immediately. Duncan Bannatyne wants to know how many people are using the service. How many minutes are you selling per week, per day, per month, whatever? Uh, not terribly many at the moment. We've had, we've had about... Um, how many minutes? How many minutes? Per day. Per day. If I, had, if I had 15 minutes a day, I'd be a very happy man. So you're not so even getting 15 we're not getting, minutes we're not, per day? We're not, getting, we're not getting a massive call volume. So you're getting less than £15 per day? What we have learned in the, through the trial period is that when we advertise, we get calls. When we don't advertise, we get fewer calls. So far, Gerard's only managed to generate tiny amounts of cash from calls to the helpline. The Dragons are astounded. Now, Duncan Bannatyne needs to know what other potential income streams could possibly justify a £150,000 investment. You mentioned commission from hotels, etc. Yep. Tell me about that. Explain that. Uh, the plan is, and we're not, we're not doing that at the moment, save it well. The only arrangement we have at the moment is with the Holiday Inn. Every, every marathon runner this year, in their, their little goodie bag at the end, had one of our business cards. Um, Co-branded with a Holiday Inn on it. On the front and the back, it gives their telephone number and their web address. So you know, there's an example of you know, a, a major brand that's co-branding with us, that likes the concept, who has actually tested it. Um, and we're happy to give it out to 39,000 marathon runners. Are you telling me that there are 39,000 cards out there already with your yes. telephone number on? Yes. And you're taking 15 calls a day? 15 pounds. Yes, 15, 15 pounds a day. Be very 15 happy. minutes very a day. Happy. Yes. It's absolutely ludicrous and I am out. The Dragons are picking huge holes in Gerard's pitch. Duncan Bannatyne thinks it's riddled with flaws and is the second Dragon out. Can Deborah Meaden find any redeeming features in the business? Yes. Gerard, I'll, I, I, I am going to be ever so quick on this one. Yeah. There's a problem with this business. Mm -hmm. It's A, in a declining market because it's never been so easy to find your way to anywhere. There's more cars with sat-nav and there's much easier routes to find your way. So maybe 15 years ago this would have been a really good idea, but I actually think you've got yourself into a declining market. For that reason, Gerard, no point coming back to me. I'm out. Gerard's hopes of investment are collapsing fast. Now only Theo Pafitis and Richard Farley stand between him and expulsion from the den. And this is probably one of the worst business ideas that I've seen. You said you've given out 40,000 business cards with your business name on it. Yep. From that, you've generated 15 minutes a day. That is real market research, not asking 100 people what they think. So I'm struggling to find any reason to invest whatsoever, even if I was Bill Gates. Thank you very much, Gerard. Thank you, but I'm out. Gerard's bid to secure £150,000 is all but over. Only Theo Pafitis remains. If I get into a black cab yep. in central London, how much does it cost per minute? I don't know is the answer. But you know what, let me have a guess, because I don't know either. Yep. But an educated guess would be, it'd be cheaper than ringing you. So, I'd be better off jumping into a good old British black cab, wherever the weather, who will take me to where I want to go, and that'd be the quickest way to find my route. And last question, how many cab drivers have you got working for you at the moment? We ha well, we have 30 trained cab drivers, hand-picked. But today, how many are on duty today? Uh, before I came on here, there were three. There was... So, I don't know why one of them didn't... Uh... There was three. Yeah. One of them, his mum rang up. The second one, his wife smacked him over the head and said, you've got to take me shopping, mate. Yep. So, he's gone off shopping. Yep. The other one's doing a bit of DIY in his cab. Right. And your phones are not being answered. That may be right if well, they only had one landline, but we've put, we've put separate landlines in so that so if, their mother, if their mother phones them, um, they know that it's not... It's not but he's that. talking to mum, and she's far more important than yeah, you. No, but he's... But if, Cab but, drivers love their mums, right? They'll be talking to their mums before answering. So basically, you're, three, would you're relying on developing. three guys to deal with a network. No. Um, this isn't a real business, is it? Yes, it is. Uh, if you it let me... can't be. Everything you've told us yes. goes against basic principles of business. I would rather pass a kidney stone than invest in this. This is so painful, I can't tell you. 
I'm out. Okay. Gerard's blown it. After a disastrous demonstration, he felt the full force of the dragon's wrath and failed to convince them his business had any potential whatsoever. £15 a day. I thought that would excite you, Peter. I'll tell you what, I hope he doesn't ring his service up to find a way home now. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> Well, Theo described this as painful, Gerard. Was it as painful for you as it evidently was for them? It certainly wasn't comfortable, and I was uh, surprised, not to mention disappointed, at the fact that the demonstration didn't work. Please wait. Thank you for holding. It no, is right. catastrophic, really, for a pitch when the demo goes wrong. There are a number of explanations for that, but the fact is, you know, they didn't get through. And, uh, you know, I'm very keen to get out of here and find out why.